Hey YouTube, I have a video of how to change a throttle positioning sensor on a 2004 Honda Accord inline 4 i VTEC. So what you're going to need is a angle Phillips to reach into this spot here. But what I'm going to use is a no a new little toy that I got myself, uh, Ryobi angle. Uh, to get to that so let's go ahead and do this and as always I'm gonna need two hands but this is how we're going to do it but I'm gonna need two hands all right so I got a position and go ahead and break it loose and drive it out get that screw out before it drops and do the other one all right once you remove the screws what you want to do is remove the pigtail or the whole thing <laughs> and then you can remove the pigtail there it is <laughs> it has a little clip that holds it into place so you want to press that and pull it back here's the old gasket it had it looks brand new still here's the old sensor here's the new sensor the gasket doesn't look as heavy duty as the other one but we got to replace the gasket this one feels a lot thicker still looks pretty good if it didn't have those little moldings it already has, I'd throw it on there. But just because it does, we got to throw that one on there so it could fit perfectly and sit correctly. So let's go ahead and slap it back on. Just wipe it down, make sure it's nice and clean. Throw it in here. Whoops, the gasket fell out. Reset. whoopsie let's do it uh we're gonna do it like this down angle position slip on and there it is just pull it down with it all right so now what we're gonna do is insert our screws back in place just like so and the other one just like so all right, now you want to drive it in just enough to snug it down, just like so. Let's see if I could do this one single-handedly. I did, yay! Just like so. All right, the reason you just want to snug it down is because we're going to connect this. Go turn our key to accessories. All right, what you want to do now is grab your trusty voltmeter, throw it on DC, direct current, throw your negative into your negative terminal, pull your cables back a bit, and as you can see, you have a red cable right there in the middle, which is your battery cable, and I actually need to snug this down a little bit more so it can give me the adjustment I need, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, I went ahead and used the angle Phillips just to snug it down. Now it's nice and snug, so where I position it, it's going to stay. So now, what you want to do is grab your positive terminal. Uh, what I did was sharpen up my end, as you can see, just on the concrete. Just gave it back and forth. And what we're going to do is just stab the positive. And down here, it's going to give us a voltage reading. What we want to do is move this bad boy over just like so back and forth till we get our reading here you see the reading moving there it is our reading so what we want is our reading of five five volts so there it is it's set to five volts Whoop, it jumped Make sure there it's five bolts. All right, so that's where we're gonna snug it down. That's still remaining at five bolts. So we're gonna snug it down in that angle or that position. All right, what I went ahead and did was backing these out a little bit to loosen them up, push this down, and then snug them down. 
And what that did was give me a better reading. Go ahead and stab my wire of 0 0.503. That's even better because you want this voltage to be at 0.5 exactly. So that's fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is open up the throttle. Let's see if I could reach it. There it is. I should change my calculations over here. I can't open it all the way, but I think it's like halfway and it's reading at two and it should read all the way up to four. So it's working. Oh look, it set itself back to 0 0.51415. Anyways, it's at 0.5 voltage, so that's where you want it, and that's how you change throttle positioning sensor on a 2004 Honda Accord in line 4. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.